Nikki Azalea has been making her rounds, doing her interviews, and one of the topics, of course, is Nick Young. Are they still engaged? What does he have to do now to prove himself? Well, here's what she had to say. Whatever bro code is or whatever unspoken code that is, I don't really care because I have a actual spoken commitment that you're going to get married to me. And that involves not doing any of those other things. So, like, you will have half a penis. Oh, I was like, one more video, just one more thing, and you will lose a quarter of your meat. If wow. you're going to cut a quarter of my penis off or a half of my penis off, just do me a favor and cut off the whole thing because a partial penis is not worth having. Right. And then if you cut off part of his penis and you stay with him after that, now you have a smaller penis. What yeah. was the point of that? Harder for you. Yeah, uh, right. FYI, if you cut off any part of my penis, we're not staying together. <laughs> That's not your choice <laughs> of if we stay together well, or who's not. who's going to want you? It's not happening. Sorry. Now, there's another woman that's coming forward from Memphis and saying that Nick Young was been, has been cheating on Iggy with her as well. Now, the Shade Room posted some video of it, and the woman goes by It's Brit Biatch on Instagram. She says they've been seeing each other for a couple of years now, and she sent in some video footage as well. So, I mean, Nick Young can do one of two things right now. He can just, like, stay low and hope that all of this blows over, or he can just confess all his sins if there is any. He said and, on and Twitter, don't you try to make me into Tiger Woods. Because <laughs> <laughs> that. that's what's going to happen. They're going to all come out the woodwork. So if there mm-hmm. is anything that you need to confess, you can throw yourself on the cross just in case. All right. Now, we all know it goes down in the DMs. Well, Rachel Bush, who's a model on Instagram, I guess uh, she got a DM asking what's up from LeBron. And she posted it for everybody to see. So... I don't know if that's a... Um, well, you know. These girls out here just be missing their blessings, man. Who is raising these women? <laughs> but, Jesus Christ! But they're saying that it was posted at 5.50, but the game happened at 5 o'clock, so how could he possibly post when he was playing? Look, man, I need some of you OG hoes to guide these young hoes and teach them the right way. If a guy like LeBron James sends you a DM, you don't tell nobody. You stay low and you get that money. I mean, and he didn't really say anything, but you can't just randomly hit people up and say what's up. And you don't know what they're going to do with those DMs. I can't believe he sent it himself. I mean, maybe he didn't. If he didn't. If he did. Maybe somebody saying. else has access yeah, to his account. Right. All right, he got now, hacked. And who is Nick Gordon again? Because he sounded like he played for the Lakers. Nick Gordon is the one who was dating Bobby Christina Brown. Mm-hmm. Okay. And some people have accused him of being responsible for her death. Oh. So he'll be answering some questions. That's going to happen on April 28th on Dr. Phil. I don't care. One question he's going to be answering is, did you murder Bobby Christina Brown? That's 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 a tough one. That's the one you should come out the gate with, Dr. Phil. That's my kind of guy. Drop one of the clues bombs for Dr. Phil. He's going to be like, no. That's how you should come right out the gate. Did you murder Bobby Chris? All right. Barbershop, the next cut. Now, that is coming out in theaters Friday, and Eve is about to be on the show in a few minutes. Mm Mm-hmm. But somebody is suing now. J.D. Lawrence is saying all three Barbershop movies and the Showtime TV series has an uncanny resemblance to scenes from Scissors, which is a play that he wrote and he toured around the country back in 1998. He said, now here's the similarities. The Barbershop was set in a black neighborhood. That's that's most barbershops. Yeah, pretty much. It focused on the shop's importance to the community. That's most barbershops. That's most barbershops, yeah. Now, he said that characters, plot lines, and events were very similar. He says that Scissors, the barbershop, had an elderly owner. That's, that's most, most barbershops. barbershops. And they both had similar discussions about the O.J. Simpson murder trial and the white barbers who get clowned for being white. That is definitely That's most barbershops. barbershops. I don't, I don't see his lawsuit. So now he's suing for at least twenty million dollars, and he wants to block the release of the movie. Nah, you need to shut the f up, Ev. The movie's coming out Friday. Mm-hmm. And the if, only if he, reason something like that I feel like could work is if. They could, he could prove that he sent an actual script to the producer and director and he saw it and responded, but none shop. of that, yeah. Well, every black barbershop in America need to sue him because he's been stealing from every black barbershop in America. Because every black barbershop in America is exactly what you just described. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Caitlyn Jenner, there's, I didn't even know the show still came on, but on an upcoming episode of I Am Kate, they are actually visiting a gender-free orgasm workshop, and you can hear Caitlyn Jenner doing what a lot of women have had to do for centuries, faking an orgasm. Check it out. You are going to make all the moans and groans for all the characters in your porn film. Uh, uh, Move your pelvis, kind of rock back and forth. uh, What the hell am I doing? Can I cover my face? Keep going, keep going, keep going. What's the point of having it? Did you feel anything anywhere? I can't say. (laughs) We're on camera. What's the point of faking an orgasm? 
top three most pointless things to do on this planet? Uh, because you know it's not going to happen, so you don't want the other person to feel bad. What's the point of faking it? How about tell me that I'm not doing something right so I can have a real one? Why fake it? Does she well, still have a penis? Sometimes it doesn't just always happen. Does she still have a penis? I think so, yes. Okay, listen, man. Caitlin got to chill, man. You can't <laughs> fake everything your whole life, okay? Like, stop it. All right, well, that is your rumor report.